going to okay. pop in shortly. Does anybody mind? Hmm? I think we should just get, get rolling. Mm -hmm. And I think Katie will be here momentarily. She will. So why don't we call to order at 604? Welcome. <clears throat> we have a crowd. This is good. We <laughs> rarely see that. Thank you for coming. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Does anyone have any agenda revisions? Hearing none? Okay. Oh. Yep, I have a couple more copies right there in front of Bill. There you go, I think Dorothy needs one. I have one. I have another one right here for you. I thought I brought it, but I didn't. Okay, hearing none. Uh, 1.3, public comments and correspondence. I got a note from Scott Thompson a little bit ago. I think Bill was copied on it and... and the board feedback address was copied. Yeah, but that just comes to the office, so... Uh, he, go ahead. I, I got it too, so oh, I okay. think everybody yeah. did, but they yeah. probably haven't had a chance to read it. Oh, yeah, if, if I did, it's... So I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, he didn't send it till 4.30, so yeah. he's probably on the road. Yeah. Want me to read it? Why don't you? Okay. Um, hey, everyone. I'm sorry I can't make it to tonight's meeting. This is what I'd say if I could be there. That's so Scott. Um, there is a ridiculous amount of confusion at the moment over who is responsible for what budget and even over what the real budget is. Part of the confusion is due to the breakneck pace of the forced merger process. Part of it is the possibility that the lawsuit might prevail, and part of it to a whole lot of hornswoggling by parties with interest. I recommend a rule of thumb for dealing with a world spinning wildly in confusion and uproar. Focus tightly on the law as it's written and err on the side of custom and precedent. You, we with my U32 board hat on, are the ones who are accountable under the law. If we act on bad advice, it's not our advisors who are held to account, it's us. Follow the law. And I'm looking at 16 BSA, but I'm not gonna say it all which have not been undone by Acts 4649, means approving a school budget for the electorate to authorize at the annual school meeting. You're not going to get all that info, all the info that 563.11 calls for, because the state provides this info, and the state is highly unlikely to have it for you. But this is the state's problems, not yours. No one will suffer for complying in good faith with the law, certainly not as long as it's in my power to do anything about it. For example, if Bill's superintendent license were to be threatened because he had acted under the lawful instructions of our school board, I would enthusiastically pursue legal action against whoever made such a threat. It's crazy that we even have to talk about such things as the necessity of following the law and the possibility of reprisals for doing so. But this is the head-spinning world of confusion we're in. Thanks very much to all of you, and good luck. It sounds like he was here. I know. I, I, can't, I can't do his tone. and. <laughs> but that's the only cop correspondence I got. I have one of my own yeah. from me, basically, and I think it, it almost piggybacks on uh, Scott's letter. In this swirling um, climate that we find ourselves in, I think as board members, we need to be very um, mindful of the code of ethics that we all abide by. So I printed them out, if you're interested. I, I had them print 10. I wasn't sure how many people would be here. I don't like to kill trees. I can make some more copies if you'd like. And I certainly won't read them all because we're all capable of reading. But the ones that come to mind that I feel are incredibly important. I can say more pieces. Or the first one, which is that we recognize that a board member's responsibility is to see that schools are run well, but not to run them. And the second one is to act only as a member of the board and not assume any individual authority when the board is not in session, unless otherwise directed by the board. 
Number three is to give no directions, directives as an individual board member to any school administrator or employee publicly or privately. And then I jump down to the bottom to a point at, you know, to the portion about uh, respect. And I think we should all do this without even thinking. But sometimes we need to be reminded to voice opinions respectfully and treat with respect other board members, administrators, school staff, and members of the public. And I think if we can all remember that and work within these this code of ethics that we should not have to be reminded about, yeah, I think life will be better for all of us. And, and that's my public comment. Are these, these are adopted by the school board? Yes. It's, it just says sample size. Yeah, it, you can't print it out without it saying sample. That makes me crazy. So, so, this is public comment. so the school board took a vote to adopt these? This board? I think they are. I don't remember voting on this. Because, because this, is, this is a document issued by the Vermont School Board Association. It's a private, nonprofit organization like we heard. This is past practice. Well, I'm we just have asking always... if this board adopted these as the code of ethics. That's, that's when they become binding. And actually, mm -hmm. they're individually elected officers here. They, they actually decide whether or not to bind themselves. This is voluntary. Lots of good mm -hmm. advice, but it's voluntary. Um, upon the elected officials on this board. So I think what I would say is that past practice has been that we all adhere to this code of ethics and we pass them out every time a new board member comes in. They're, they're advisory. And well, they're, they're, they're actually this, good. Well, there's, there's a lot of things that need some definition in this too. I mean, I don't think anyone's ever been this disrespectful, but I know I'm fairly opinionated. By God, I'll continue to be that way. If somebody <laughs> says something that I don't agree with her. I think that it's obstructing the job. You know, I'm going to speak up. And I think I there are ways to speak up. Well, that's I, my own way. <laughs> <laughs> if that was directed at me, which it may be. So, so, I so I, I, as a member of the public, they voted for all of you, yeah. and uh, that supports the school with my tax dollars. It came to my attention that the superintendent was asked by a member of this board for a copy of the, the most recent budget numbers for the Cal School District, and that was not provided to the school board by the employee uh, superintendent. Is that correct? And is that something that will be made available? Is that something you... So they have it in their December board packet. They've had that information. And I was asked by one, but I do take requests from the board. Right. And it wasn't done by the board. I so, have it here. So you don't, if a board member asks you for a public record, what's in a public record? They, they have the public record. They have okay, it. But, okay, so they, they apparently at the time they did not. So if a member of this board asks you for something that's in the public record, you routinely deny them, or how does that work? It's a public record. It's a public record. I actually and called Jim Condo's office today. I called the Attorney General's office today. And, you know, uniform opinion is a public record. And I also went to the Governor's office about this today. So, just to inform them. Um, so, I, I just want to know how this supervisory union leader uh, treats public records and treats my representatives when they ask for stuff that's in the public record. My understanding is you denied them, and there was a back and forth. I want to hear from you, sir. And I provide public information when asked it in a correct manner. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't not, hear the other side of the story. responded to me. What was, and I made that request, and you said you were directed not to provide that, and that it would take your, you would lose your license if you did it. That's now, which not means what I, it was. That's what came out of that meeting. I'm sorry, but that, that's, you know, that was the gist of what we said. Because I asked. And we have the budget documents for this meeting tonight so that we could, if we so chose as a board, to put that budget forward for town meeting warning. And you said you would not provide those and that you would talk about it tomorrow night. You wouldn't talk further about it. That's what I did say. I said I would not further talk about it last night. You said you would not provide it, too, to me. That I don't recall I saying that. Right. You, well, you did. And I, I don't have it on recording because it was before the tapes are running. 
Well, and I believe this is you the budget that, that we is, talked that about. Is, that's what so we have so it. each yes, board so member does have a copy yeah, of it. We do. We do. Okay. So we okay. I and have for, uh, copies if anybody wants. And for public record requests, no there's a method for doing that. Okay, thank you. Any other public comments? Stop. I'd just like to say in, in sort of the follow-up that you just said that I know that Bill is a good man. He's not a bad man. And he's really trying to do his best to do what's right. Um, there's times when I disagree with him and we need a we need a way to be able to express that disagreement. I have a very short statement to read. We have petitioned for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. You know where that's from? Declaration of Independence, fourth paragraph. So we need to talk. I mean, we need to be able to say what we say. And we don't mean to be res disrespectful, but we do disagree. I would agree that you absolutely should be able to speak uh, respectfully. Any other comments? Okay, moving on. Who would like to move the consent agenda? Okay. Any discussion? Any revisions, changes? I'm going to make revisions without Katie here. I know. <laughs> Gee, it's really good. Clerical right? go-to. Maybe. <coughs> I did not see anything that needed any revisions. Did anyone else? I did not either. Okay, all those in favor of the uh, approving the minutes of 12-2018 and 1-7-19 as written? Um, uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Sure. I did just, I was only looking at the 12-20 mm -hmm. and not the 1-7-19, but when we called to order on the 1-7-19, um, it shows that in attendance was Chris, but Chris came in at the tail end, and I just want to make sure that that is correct because his name is not reflected in the signature. I don't know if that matters or uh, not, but. That is true. Yeah. You did yeah. come in halfway through. through. Right. Well, he did come. <laughs> but you had already done the signature. So. We had already all, done All so. business had been done by yeah. So we can put the party. <laughs> it's a school, we should. <laughs> I don't know. I just want it to be accurate uh, as all. I'm not certain what the legal lang language that I would be well, happy with, Tardy. Uh, you guys advise, I don't know. Sorry, Chris. I would just note, if you know at the time, if you don't, you could say oh, whatever you think the last few minutes like were, you know, with putting what those minutes are. It was probably When did we adjourn? Six, when did you adjourn? 605. 609, you adjourned. 609, so I was there like 6 You were like 603, 605, 605 something in there. Okay. <laughs> also, there's a, on the emergency school board meeting too, the 3.1, my name is spelled incorrectly too. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh I'm Thank you, Kat. Sorry about that. Okay. No, just, no, that's good. We caught it earlier. <laughs> okay, so all those in favor of approving the minutes of 12 2018 and 1 7 19 as amended? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Very good. Okay, 3.0 discussion. 3.1 town meeting prep. So under this, we have the board communication plan. And that's, do we have all, we don't, the town is waiting for. They're waiting for the packet right now. It's in the midst of being created. 
Okay. As we talked about last month, we have all the information that reports in this fiscal year and last fiscal year, but not next year's budget. Okay. And when do we anticipate being able to? That pack that should be ready to go after tonight. We're awesome. waiting for the adoption of the warning. Okay. And things will be ready to go. Okay. And I'll have my letter in tomorrow. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah. Prince Katz reports in lines in. All those pieces we went I'm, over. I'm late. <laughs> yeah. So that's so stuff. I'm just speaking on behalf of the town. So the town office will have those documents because there's nobody there Friday. Yeah, Denise, I mean, I, I've talked to them a couple of times. Yeah, okay. They're Great. ready to go as we always have done it. Um, they've always given us almost to the end of next week because we bring we send them PDF camera ready. Okay, great. So it's nothing that the town has to do. It's what we've done it for years. Well, after you and I talked back in October, mm -hmm. I talked to the town manager and to the person that's doing the publication, and they said, no, no, that's for all the other people. We don't have a town manager. It's, no, it's whoever's doing the town publication for you. Is it the town clerk or oh, is it someone else? Judy. Yeah, Judy. It's Judy. I, I remember talking with Judy about it, and she said, no, I meant that for all the other town committees for the school. You guys send us a print ready, a photo ready, okay, PDF ready to go, and we just insert it. Great. So she was, when you had told me, because I wanted to make sure I double check on great. those timelines. Yeah, no, great. That's great. That's great. Thank so you. She's, so we have the end of next week, really, but we try to get it to her Tuesday, Wednesday. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anything else on the board communication? Thank you. No? I think that's good. Hi, Katie. Hi. Uh, 3.1.2, school board member elections. Now this is for the local board. So we have one school director for a two-year term, and we have one school director for a three-year term. And I don't believe anyone has put paperwork in yet, but that's due in by the 28th? That's due by Monday, the 28th. Petitions are due. Yeah, One I've week. Tick-tock. <laughs> 1%. Yes, one percent. I believe it's fourteen. Yeah. Chris, have you picked up yours? I, think it, I already have a couple signatures. It's just now sitting on my table for Is it fifteen? Yes. Okay. So everybody aim for fifteen signatures. Or more. Or in case something. Yeah, if you can get more. Okay. okay. <coughs> that would be great. I'm surprised you didn't bring it. Okay. I think we can jump right ahead to 3.1.3, and this is the uh, Callis Town School District Town Meeting Warning. This is found on page six. I don't. I can. I can do it. I can just use this. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Because, because, because we wanted to know if you wanted to publicize the public hearing. This is one that if you wanted to publicize in the morning, you don't have to by statute. You have till 10 days before the public hearing to publicize when the hearing is. <laughs> and the, the, the hearing, this is the, just the, um, the informational meeting. The informational meeting that we always have. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're doing that. Was, did we decide to do that Monday? We did decide to do that no, Monday. No, you, you didn't decide I've yet. We copies. just put in what was there from last year. So you can adjust that. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. And we can decide if we we have to do one, even though we have to do one. We'll just pause until everyone has a copy so that we can all follow along. I 
I think you do. <laughs> I, you know, everybody goes through that. So you say, yeah. And then they find so a way to fix it. Yeah. So, my daughter is at Dolby right now. Wants to go to the Wendy Bar. Mm -hmm. I don't want my nine year old going to the Wendy Bar. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> and yet it would be closer to pick her up. <laughs> well, I mean, he lives right across from the Wendy Bar. Oh, Everybody at Next one time has lived right across from the way I went by. Thank you, Kat. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so uh, the town district warning, as written, everyone has it on page six. Does everyone understand how it's been modified and changed to fit the new system? Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I'd, I'd actually like to discuss moving. You know, we had the addition of another article to discuss the budget that we, we submit with this report in the event that we don't have a consolidated union at that time. And I'd actually like to also look at the sixth article about returning from Australian talent. To, to a town meeting vote on budget, on budget. On the boring one? Yeah, and I don't know if we can do that here. You can do that there. You have that authority. You, you as a board do not need a petition to put anything on the ballot. It's up to you as a board. I first want to say the board has the authority over the warning. Mm -hmm. So you can put on the, on the warning what you want. You actually never even have to accept a petition. It's usually not politically smart not to, but I right. uh, would never advise a board not to do that. But I want to tell you that by statute, you have the authority to say what's on the warning. And this the school board is the one that has that authority. In this, I mean, I want to make sure that we have a budget discussion. And at this point, it's an Australian vote in that circumstance, but we should have that discussion at this meeting. In the event, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with this court case, if it's going to run its course, you know, if, that, if it does, then we'll adjust. We can't add it, you know, when we get beyond Monday, we're not going to be able to add this to town meeting discussions, but we can, we will make alterations if, it, if things change. So, but at the present time, at the present time, we're under the schedule to consolidate. I mean, legally speaking, at the present time, right? We're under the so legal mandate to consolidate until yes. until a court says this process is delayed or... That's the way the secretary explained it to me today. Right. So, so we, we are the board of authority, though, at this at, time. Yeah. Right? Actually, right now, we are the only board that has a fiduciary responsibility for this school. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely right. And, um, but we, right. that, that's, that's the way we, it is, right. because but nothing else has happened. And so we, but we can choose. Really we can choose to put a budget right. in, right. or not, and, and to right and to discuss it or not. Okay. And obviously, I think we have to. I, as I remember, all other years we've had a public hearing before this town meeting in order to answer questions of some sort. So I know we have to do that. Um, I would like to have an article. I would like to include this budget that we okayed. We did not necessarily vote, as I recall, but we okayed this second draft of the budget that we got on December 20th. Mm -hmm. And I would like to include that in the town report and have, a, uh, have it voted by Australian ballot um, on town meeting. So then what happens between, oh, that's so complicated, we're at January 17, mm -hmm. our town meeting is on the 5th of March, and we don't know when we're going to get before the judge, we, correct? We don't need to know. We, right up at this moment, right. no, we but are my in charge. Is, and we can put it on there, right. and then if well, something. I, I think look, let's well, let can Katie. I finish, let's, please? Katie was talking talking first. <laughs> so, but my question is, 
Well, I didn't ask my question. Yet. So my question is, if if it's decided one way or another in between, what authority? I mean, how do we properly warn to change it, right? So how do we? Do we have time? Is what I'm saying. Like, when will we have time to come back in and so say? So you have to warn by statute between 30 and 40 days before the election. Right. So by February 5th, or it's actually a couple days before that because there's February like 28, short, yeah. or 28 or 29 days this right. year, 28 this year. So. Yeah. I so mean, probably like February 2nd, yeah, we, approximately. Bef well, they were also tied into the town printing stuff. Yeah. Right, you know, so that's that's the other piece that Dorothy's correct about. Sorry, I'm trying to get right. to the calendar. I just don't um, want it to be go out there wrong, do you know what I mean? And then something changes what? and we have to... So you do have to distribute the budget ahead of time right. and notify the voters. You don't necessarily have to give it to them in hand. You have to notify them at least of how they can obtain it. The tradition in, um, going back to Scott's email, the tradition in this town is that it's part of the town report. Uh, and that, that's out there. Uh, you ha they have to have, be able to access it at least 10 days prior to the election. So I have a concern that um, if, if we do this and put forth an individual budget and have it on the ballot and have the townspeople vote on it and then are we slated currently for April 30th? So right now, the only moved? date that we know certain is that the district organizational meeting is February 19th. That has been warned and posted. Okay. And from there, the transition board will warn for a district merge board um, election, and they have to <laughs> follow the same rules we're talking about for this election. So. It's actually the 30, 40 days is easy. It's the six Mondays that you have to have in for petitions. We talked about this last night at the executive committee. And the executive committee advised, because they don't have the authority to say it, the transition board has the authority to say it, that we go. But the recommendation, as I've published, that I'm going to recommend to folks is that we go for an April 2nd board, merge board member election. And then the merge board is the only entity that has the authorization to put forth a merge board budget. And they must do that with 30 to 40 days notice. They don't need the six days because we aren't doing petitions. And that would get us to a May 7th vote. Special okay. town meeting? Special district meeting. District meeting. It's, 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 always, it's always a district meeting. And, right. and on that date, we would then vote for a unified budget. That would be a unified that budget. Would be a, so then we would have two budgets. Assuming. <coughs> well, well, that's and, and this, is, this is assuming yeah. that no um, stoppage, injunction, et cetera, has occurred during this time period. So if everything follows the timeline that's currently in effect, and nothing stops it, then we're going to have two budgets. And that? But if something does stop no. it, uh, uh, and, and I understand that there is a, there is a chance that something could happen. Um, I prefer not to, myself, I prefer not to, to d make my decisions on something that has not yet occurred. <coughs> you know, go. Yeah. Like that it works two ways. Um, I I think I would prefer to make decisions on the current situation. the current situation, not on something that may or may not happen. Um, if we were to get an injunction, the process would then start. We would <coughs> we would set up a special meeting. We would do our budget, and we would put that forth, and and the timeline would start based on that injunction. I, I just think it's a cleaner. A cleaner way to do it, and it's less confusing to the town. But that's 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 my question. That's my concern, and I I do hear that. You know, you're interested in perhaps doing it a different way. My feeling is that this is what we know today. This is the only thing we know. We have the responsibility, as it says in the statutes, to set a budget for our town for town meeting day. What we know today is is only that. 
because yes, the February 19th meeting is certain, but no other thing is certain, nothing. Mm -hmm. And to, to not follow our, I, I would feel um, that I hadn't carried out the duties I promised to carry out to the taxpayers if I didn't set a budget um, for the town meeting uh, f for now, because this is what I know, this is what I know I should be doing, and that the state would like, says I should do. So that's what I would like to do. But in fact, doesn't the statute just say we need a budget by June 15th? You're correct. So it's, but we're, it's not tradition, we're not actually missing right. any respons but legal responsibility. We, that is if, correct. If, okay. if the consolidation doesn't happen, this meeting, if it gets shut, the, not the meeting, but the court puts a moratorium or a stay or whatever, mm -hmm. then we have to spend the money to call a special meeting mm -hmm. to do this. And so my thought was, we're here now, it doesn't cost us any more money, we can just go and do it and, and be done with it. And I, my guess is, which is also a guess because everything else has to do with merger that is a guess, that there will be a way to undo it if for per chance this all does not get continued. I believe yeah, um, there would be a cost involved with with undoing it as well as setting a new probably but I yes. my no. what was there's a cost involved with calling Everything. a new election also. So Absolutely. I mean, so I think there's a cost on both sides. Well not likely on one, but it's all on where you fall on the roulette wheel. So to speak. gamble are you? <laughs> well, I, I know my personal, well, you know my personal views on it. I think it is our fiduciary duty. I mean, it's stated in statute. That's, we don't know where this is going. They go one way or the other. It's, it's easy enough for us to deal with this, I'm sure, at the other side. If that bad, you know, if we are going into a merge situation, then that, that budget can be annulled or, you know, well, there will be a legal way to undo that. But we have a budget in place in town meeting. That's a traditional time when people gather. Vacations are organized around that. They're not organized around a June meeting or anything else. This is when the townspeople come together to talk about it. And I think it's our duty to provide that. It doesn't hurt. But it remember, we don't vote the from town. the floor anymore. Well, I know that. And I'm, I'm going, that's why I'd like to add the additional article to bring that back. It would be nice to bring that back. That's very nice. Yeah. I, I would like to say <clears throat> one thing that I really, um, in October, when Bill brought us the first draft and said that he was going to uh, form a budget for each of the boards. And so that when we consolidated, or if we had to consolidate, he could then put them together. And I, I felt really good about that. And then he brought us, when we said about that particular one, what we needed changed. He went back to the central office and they worked hard, excuse me, to bring, to bring that one forward and did their best work. And I really respect that and I really felt good about that. And I just, would like to have it have <coughs> an article where we vote on the town budget. Honestly, too, this budget, you remember, this is the budget we voted to recommend to the transition committee. So, you know, essentially what we're putting in front of the town is what the transition committee was going to get. I mean, there's no, this isn't something that's different from I mean, what was going to go there anyway. So there, I don't see the harm in this, you know, in what we're doing. I mean, I, it, what changes are going to be made in this budget? And we're sticking with tradition. I have two questions. Yeah. Um, so one is, is there any chance between now and, let's say, April, that there'd be any movement on the small schools grant? Or is that definitely a done deal for this year? So that the, it's out? I can update you on that. It's updated today. Mm -hmm. The small schools grant, um, the state board handed that back to the House Education Committee and to the legislature to figure out what they're going to do. So they're starting to take testimony on that. Um, I was with the House Ed uh, leadership today in a meeting, and they were saying that they're, take, they're going to set up testimony for what they're going to do with the small schools grant. We have the estimates if we get them. If we don't, um, 
you know, right now, uh, as Scott said, he's very correct about data coming out of the AOE right now is way behind, as I told you, with equalized pupils, right. small schools grants, we haven't even seen an estimate yet. Lawyers run some estimates, but it's really relative because it's a balancing act across all the, there's a certain amount of money, and then there's certain qualifications that schools come in and out of, and CALIS is always right on that line, are you in, are you out? We're, we're in because our population has gone down. It depends how far we've gone up on that list because it's a relative ranking and how much money you get. But that's the, uh, small schools grant information was released this afternoon. Was it? Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen it. But I was yeah. Mm -hmm. It could have been. I haven't been in the office all day. <laughs> I was in Allstate. Um, and that's part of the lawsuit, the, the appeal as well. Mm -hmm. you know. I, I think. I mean, I think I can share this. Go ahead, uh, yeah. Janet Ansel sent that to me this afternoon, and I believe Callis has the small schools grant back. We don't know how much. We don't know how much. It's yeah. based right. on enrollment. Right. So well, that's good. Something I mean, that's we, promising. Yeah, we yeah. we stayed in that would bring down the tax rates, okay. but we don't have those in the budget that you saw. The 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 small school grant was zeroed out. Now. Right. That's why I was just. And it's exciting. It just keep in mind it still was the smaller amount of oh, yeah, the two things that we lost. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, you said you had two questions. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> My other question is just. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm just wondering what would be the most simple and clean for everyone in Callis because it's so confusing, you know, and we already have you know, elect your callous representatives who may be on the board until June or may be on the board for three more years and then elect these other people at a later election and then, you know, to vote on a budget and then try to get word out to people a month later. That budget actually doesn't count. We need you to come back for this other meeting to vote on a budget. And how many people are going to say, I already voted on the school budget. I don't know what this meeting is. I, do, I don't know. I just worry about making it. I think the budget anything. should be the same. That's what my sure, but I don't they think have that's to come back question. and vote again. Would, yeah. What's the difference? They're going to come point. back and vote even if this budget doesn't happen. They've got to vote. I mean, you're going to have that transition board. You're going to have these transitional meetings. They have to happen. Mm -hmm. That's they're coming back if you know in this process if that goes forward. Mm -hmm. There's that doesn't go away in any scenario. Mm -hmm. This is just doing our due diligence and this is doing our you know our duty, our fiduciary duty on. This is what we're tasked with in the, in, you know, the, in our, you know, in our, within our, uh, within our, you know, our legislature. I believe Denise had a question. On this December 27 budget, does it include the small schools grants? It does no. not. Mm -hmm. said Denise, no. it does not. So okay. We were doing assumptions at that point that we wouldn't have. So will you revise? this to mm -hmm. include that then before you send it to I don't know the amount the town report? I don't, don't, I don't have the amount you don't have the amount yeah. yeah. even number. though we may know it we this is they, they could say we're fine with it we're going to go over and keep small school grants just the way mm -hmm. it is the legislature could say that or if they did say that today and made an action to do that what happens is it's got to go through the process of calculating all that money and that comes through the AOE and it really frankly comes through two people there and Brad James right now is still trying to even get equalized pupils correct, which is not solid yet. We don't have the, we usually have the equalized pupils by December 15th, we still don't even have them. So, Scott. Oh, I shouldn't be calling, I'm sorry. That's your job. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's a budget. I mean, yeah. you know, we you make your best guess and put it in there. And Katie, really, I think Everything I've heard about merger committees that is in the subjunctive. That and that is talking about something that is true now. Um, there's no doubt about it. It's it's what we it's what we've done. It's as Rick says. It's what really you need to do. It's not maybe. Everything about merger is maybe. Everything about the lawsuit is maybe. But this is certain. We are the board That's of the funny because I kind of feel yeah, it's the, the opposite, opposite, actually. Right yeah. now, the agency of education or the board of education has told us that we are required to merge, and as of this date, we will be a merged district, and that's like the current 
That's and the in, current and state. it's actually in the, the subjunctive is more like if we win this lawsuit, then we continue to be an independent board who makes their own budget. Can I add something to Denise? You your question. I mean? I'm going to go back. The voters vote on the expenditure budget, not the revenues. They like to know the revenues, so they know the right. tax rate. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah, so I'm just so it really, right. although it's important yeah. for however you vote on a budget. Yeah. The, the power of the electorate is on the expenditures. But it would be good to have that. Oh, I agree. I agree. We may know it by whatever time, if it's town meeting mm -hmm. day or another day, what those are. Right, and but that's why it's a good idea to have a budget discussion then. And, and so, yeah. we don't need to have it to put it in the town report. So can I, can I just cite from statute, this might be helpful, but I think we're all kind of guessing a little bit here. Um, this is present law, and it talks about meetings to do with, this is under the education Chapter what subsection are you on? Uh, subsection 422. I have meetings. copies of it if people the, want it. The annual town meeting shall be the annual town school district meeting, right? However, at any annual or special school district meeting, like this annual meeting, <coughs> uh, the electorate may authorize the annual school district meeting to be held on another date so long as the meeting is held after February 1 and before June 15. So I would suggest that you give some thought to, even if you didn't have a budget proposed for this town meeting, that you could put in a, on the agenda an item, shall the electorate consider authorizing the school board to hold yet a second meeting to discuss budget at a agreed upon date. You could actually put the date in the warning or you could have it debated on the floor and then, some, then much of this gets resolved. You know, you, you then might have numbers by then or you may have a projection of when the numbers will be, and then you can have your meeting in April or whatever, and we might know more, and then you'll have a budget, one kind of it or another. John, it's one of the rare times that you and yeah. I are in agreement. So, um, <laughs> that's a good idea. Uh, I just want to recognize what Scott said. I want to recognize, no, I, I know the statute very well. Okay, well. See that grayish uh, hair? That's why it's beginning to happen. what I believe it's what you said. Yeah, yeah, we have it. Oh, okay. Have it. Thank I'm, you. I'm playing yeah. catch up. But, but, so. but John, <laughs> that's been my advice since the executive committee talked about this back in August, and that was at that point was setting a plan for budget was to develop, I was instructed by the executive committee to basically build two paths for a date that's uncertain. Rick, you were there. Mm -hmm. Dorothy, I, I think you were there in yeah. U32, because uh, we had to use a room over there. <laughs> um, and that we said, let's have a two path mechanism that can be for merged or not merged. And that most likely that's going to get us to a special meeting after mm -hmm. town meeting. Okay. But this, yeah, uh, I think to save resources or, or avoid complication, you, you set the process up now as laid out in this law that so the people who show up for town meeting understand that there's yet a second right. meeting that's maybe that's tied. No, if they so if they so vote. Well if they so vote. They could vote to say we don't want another one and then I don't know what you do. Because mm -hmm. there's no budget. <laughs> mm -hmm. One would hope uh, if, they'd be okay. if there okay. is an injunction so you yeah, would have to call town a town special meeting, meeting anyway, correct? So and, you, you and would we be authorized to do it? Just because it's it's the old so, um, I just want to let you guys finish because I'm yeah, did you hear what Suzanne, Suzanne's no, question was? I think it was a good question. Uh, if we do have an injunction, then we have to have a special meeting for a budget. Are we not authorized to call that special meeting? Do we have to have that? So I need to go check some statute, and, and I want to after talking. Law. Yeah, there's five sixty three, which Scott was referencing, which I was looking at earlier today after he sent his email. Uh, these these warrants were put together with our attorney Chris Leopold, who the board, the Articles of Agreement Committee, I want to say the board because I want to make sure I cite the right committee, chose an attorney to help with this whole process. I gave them three. They decided who they wanted to work with. Chris has been one of the leading experts. The state uses him as a resource at times, and sometimes they don't agree. Uh, but Chris is very knowledgeable. So he, these warnings have gone by Chris and to bring those to the board here. The piece that sets what happens at town meeting goes back to that 30 to 40 day window that I know all, everyone in this room knows very well. So if you're outside of that, I would want to consult the statute and consult, because I do multiple attorneys, that's fine, but on uh, you know, how you go about doing a special meeting. I can only tell you from my experience uh, when I worked in Hardwick that times that we lost budgets, 
that a, dish, a special meeting was called by the board, right. not by right. the electorate. That's but right. I don't know. I'd have that's to consult true. the no, the board can always call a meeting. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They do. So that. I I'd have to consult with for the first budget vote. You know, John, as you're reading that statute, it sounds very clear about the electorate having the ability to change the annual town meeting date or set a special meeting. They have that power as well. So this is where I'd want to read it and talk to some people that have more experience in reading municipal and educational law. Uh, the other thing that might be complicated about this is that we're calling, we're we seem to talk about the meeting on March 5th to be our annual meeting. And this statute calls about holding its annual meeting at, a, at some other time. Because you're allowed so by statute to have from the 1st of February to the 15th of, Jan of June to have your annual meeting. Well, I know, but if, we, if, if this if is in different. the town report is the considered the annual meeting, are, it's okay to call another annual meeting. No, you would call meeting? special. Meeting. Special. Special. Yeah. Special. Yeah. special. Call special, special meeting. meeting. But they kind of the statute seems to say. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't so there are certain was, the consideration on this too. Remember, people, that that is the day when people take off of work. They stop their jobs. They come. Every time we do this, if we want participation in this process, you know, that's asking them to take another day. That's a hardship. We are not going to get the participation. If we can possibly do this on our regular traditional town meeting day, we're likely to have, you know, better attendance at that. And we're also, I think, likely to have just more general general participation. You know, isn't, I think that isn't that why we have an Australian ballot? So that we, we wouldn't have to necessarily inconvenience people? No, we do, but it also, yeah, but this, the, uh, if you want to present, do a board presentation of any kind, have meetings, I mean, that's, you know, to discuss a budget. Yeah, you just, people have yeah to we come. try and get as many people as we right. can. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The budget. Right. Um, so there are some items on the warning. Um, our, since the select board is here, uh, our, do we have your permission to do 8 a.m.? <laughs> can we go first? Yeah. yeah okay. We, we All right. Yeah. I wasn't 8 sure. 8 a.m.? I'm, I'm not even. Oh, you will be. Wait. Probably. You will figure it out. You really think I and you really think it's going to take I think we allow for it. And, right. Okay. You know. Um, and then we yeah, also have we to. Last year was 8 o'clock. 8, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, and then we also have to decide on the uh, public meeting in advance of. We have to pick a date. Because that's got to be on the board. It has to be within 10 days of the election. We've messed around with that all the time, and we never get more than this many people. Well, I know. We do it. I know. We just so, do it. It's, but we have to do it. But we have to do we it. We owe that if yep. one person so shows up. Do you so, do, would you like to do it the night before, Monday the night before? That works for me. At 6 oh. p.m.? I thought we didn't have to do that anymore. You do. We do. You okay. do for any do. election okay. that you have. Remember, and yet, we had a meeting where you were like, oh, we don't have to do that. It I mean, really stuck in my head. Well, we could do it. I don't remember <laughs> saying that, Katie, but I will tell you that I don't remember a lot of what I say because it's just it's okay. there's too much swirling around. Yeah. Does yeah. anyone Many have a meetings. date? What's the well, we're trying to come well, up I with a date that everyone is comfortable with. I will make it work. And I'm, to I'm happy to do my. Yeah. I'm happy to yeah. do the night before that six o'clock. The night before town meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the, not. You're not talking about February 25th. No, we're talking about March 4th. March, March 4th. 4th. At 6 p.m. For anyone who wants to. Should we to? look at the basketball schedule and see? <laughs> you don't it's vacation. There's nobody okay. Oh, it's over it's by over. then? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chris. You'll be setting up for, I mean, Chris and it's vacation, folks will be right? setting up for town meeting. So point. is everyone comfortable with Chris Monday? Ask Chris March 4th. Taller. Not this Chris. Not Chris. <laughs> not this Chris. I'm saying the other Chris. No, there are way too many Chris's in the world. Okay, so mon Monday, March 4th, 6 p.m. Yes? Right. Yep. Okay. Does anyone have further discussion or need more information before we... Because this is the only action item that we have. So I think we just move that right ahead and... So at our February meeting, we'll talk about the plan for that March 4th meeting, what we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we'll know a little bit more about... Yeah, no what we'll be discussing. Okay. okay, good. 
do I mean we're discussing around this I mean I do want to add an article to to you know to look at, at calling a vote on having going away from Australia ballot and back to a public town meeting vote. So I think you would move uh, yeah, you need to move that. You would do, move this and uh, make some amendments to it, and then we would vote on that. Or is that a separate article? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, move That's it. amending what? Amending warning. the, uh, warning. the warning. Oh, the warning. So it's not going to be. Or adding an article to So to approve the Callis Town School District Town Meeting warning as amended. So if you'd like to identify what amendments you'd, you'd want to make to that. Okay, yeah, so how do we, how do I say that exactly in this case? So, we so can I just give some automatic procedure? procedure. Um, I did bring, I didn't know that, I, that amendment, so we'd have to go look at wording. This one's a little bit more outside of it, outside of what I was prepped for tonight. Um, I get it. So, because I'd want to make sure that we have those words set. The budget piece, if that were an amendment, I did bring that because statute is very tight on what the language it is. You remember two or three years ago, the legislature oh, changed yeah. it. Yeah. I have that with me. Mm -hmm. I brought that with me because you have to publicize what your percentage changes in your cost per equalized pupil. And you have to use a negative and a percent. And you, have, well, you, have to use negative, <laughs> you have to use negative language, yeah. actually. Negative yeah. language. It's really and it, it's, it's really it's terrible language, but it's what the legislature gave us. Um, so I have that language. I don't have the language right now for you about um, changing to a floor vote. Um, can we so? Can we can we move to change it to a floor vote and then have to figure the figure out the language at some other time? That's right. So yeah. that I mean, possible? if we know what we want to do, can we do that without having the specific wording right now? I don't know. That's yes, what you I can. Well. We part, could part that. of the motion be that we accept the wording that you provide for us? I would. The language. I would not. Okay. I would not ask you to authorize me to do that because it's your power to approve the warning. I'm not trying to stop this. I want you to hear this. I'm trying to get to practical sense and keep you in the best place possible. So could and we so, also so authorize our can I, chair? Can I, can I finish? Can I okay, finish, yep. please. So what I would say is, if you wanted to have that and you wanted that for this warning. I would have to work with an attorney quickly to get that language. I think what I would do is because we do have the language of when we went from a floor vote to an Australian, so I think it's just some flipping of words and bringing it back. Right. It and, and so we could hold a special meeting somewhere between now and Wednesday, and we could probably do phone. You know, you can do teleconferencing as long as I have one board member with me, and we could do an approval of the warning at that point okay. I, I just don't think it's fair for you I don't think it's fair for you as a board without seeing the language it's okay. not that I think this is back to whose authority it is mm -hmm. and it's your authority if I were within the authority I'd want to see the final language before I said something to it so then would the would we have to move to table 5.1 until a special meeting held later than this Wednesday. Yeah, I'd, uh, and I'd have to do some phone calling tomorrow to, if that, if you'd like to have um, to have that vote on, because I I just want to make sure you see the language. I'm not trying to stop doing the work. I just think it's appropriate for you as a board. To have the right be, I mean, I personally am comfortable with you. you know, it's it's clear what we're trying to do, and it really is probably flipping what, say, Doug Lilly did when he originally did made the Did reverse argument we just you know, I think it is too but I, I, I and we would take the heat I'm not asking you to then answer for that I mean that that should be a pretty simple I, I mean I'm willing to do a meeting next week if that I understand that I feel more comfortable your superintendent that you authorize the wording after you see it so I mean then I, <coughs> that being said I move to table action item 5.1 until no later than this Wednesday pending a wording change well, the addition of we need to finish working on the amendments first, and I think making sure we have all the amendments yeah, that my, we want. My advice would be is what Dorothy just said is to say, I'd like to know the outline of what you want, so it's not a long meeting, frankly. Mm -hmm. Okay, because otherwise, then I've got to go. I mean, we're we're every day we go past today, 
I've got to say, for Krista's sake, we're, she's under the gun to put stuff together. And we've got everything. And the last one that goes together is East Montpelier because they're Monday night. So. I mean, in that case, it's simple. It's basically the reverse of what you know, the original. I it shouldn't be it. It shouldn't be more than a minute long meeting. About, you know, just reading the right. But I think you should all be in agreement tonight with some sort of intent or something like that of where you want to go. I would appreciate that as your superintendent to have instruction of what you from want. the board. From the Could board. we authority? Sure. Are, are we able to? Are we able to vote on? No, we, I, I guess we can't vote on part of a warning pending the language. You could do that pending uh, review of the language of the last article. You could make a motion like that and say pending the, the review by the board at a special meeting of the one article. And you could be right there with everything said except for that one article. And then you have a second vote at your next meeting that says we reviewed it, we approved the warning in full. I mean, it's kind of like what was done at the articles meeting, Dorothy, the other night where people said, Hey, we're done with our last Friday. We've got these four. Let's right. put those aside. And then we have the tie books. <laughs> right, but I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you, help you get through your work yeah, tonight. I, I, I myself think we need to make whatever amendments we want to this, and then wait for the phone call for the wording. And, and I, I guess it would be kind of a straw vote. Are, are we happy with, are, do we all agree with these amendments? And then it's tabled until the phone conference meeting about the wording. Does that, that make sense? Rubber stamp, essentially. Yeah. So we could, we could agree <coughs> to a warning on with a budget, without a budget. You, no, what I would suggest that you do tonight, I would suggest that you get to a place where you determine, do you want the budget, do you want the Australian? We adopt this warning pending Just one more language. review of the language for the change in method of voting on the budget. At our next meeting, we'll approve, you know, something like that. I'm trying to suggest to you a motion that it really kind of says as a board, we're done discussing this. We're all in agreement of this is how we're doing it, whatever articles are on there, and that you say then at that point, we're just going to look at the wording of this one if that's if you approve that article as a board that you want to have one to move it from Australia to floor. Okay, so we are so we could vote on the warning either with or without with, with or without what I'm with saying or without you, what I'm the saying budget, is you make a clause at end that says pending review of if you decide to have an Australian, oh, an article to move it from Australia to Florida. That you say, if you decide to do that, and I think you should do that through amendments, amendment process. You're voting on each article, and then you, as a group, say, okay, we know where we stand, and then I know where you're going, and then at the end to approve what you have right now. We are approving this, and pending a review of language that the board will have. For, for the Australian. Six or for for yeah. Article so 6 or 7, <laughs> whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That works. That, that works. That's short and fast. Yeah. But I want to. So we have to get the wording. I can. I mean, I think you can do the intent of the wording for an I think, Rick, you, I mean, you could propose that in an amendment of, I propose to move it to, I'd like to see an article that. That. Trans the tran transfers the vote on the budget back to the floor from Australia to, to the floor vote. to a floor vote in a district meeting. Yeah, I would. Okay. That sounds good. Okay, and, and we can get that taken care. Of. And that would be Article Six Five. I, I would probably the last article. Whatever. So we're still. Are we still debating if we want an Article Five to approve the budget? That so you need, you need to get, if you're going to go down. Vote on the budget that we approved, rather. Well, that's up to your chair. How she well, I, I, no, I, 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 think, I think that's part of it. I think that's the, the main vote that we're doing tonight. Okay. And making that decision. Um, that's but a, we're, it's a separate article, though, right? It, it, it would be that. a separate article. <clears throat> so if you, if you want the change from Australian back to a floor vote, we'll do Article 6. Yeah, that would be, put that at the end. 
what I would suggest that you do right now is that you, I mean, you're so much in the discussion right now on that action agenda at 5 1, and I heard mm -hmm. say you want to get there. Mm -hmm. I would recommend to you, you as a board in your process that you get that on the table right now. Have your discussion, have any amendments. Someone move that that's what you're going to do, and then get into it. That's why I'm suggesting your parliamentary procedures right now are to have that on the table, then have your amendments mm -hmm. about the different articles you want to do. Yeah, we're getting all scrambled around. Yeah, because you're just <laughs> having a discussion with them. Yeah. Get, the, get the motions going. Exactly. Would you like to make a, a motion based on your articles that you would like added to this? Let's do one at a time. So I would suggest that you motion for the adoption of the warning, then yes. you go into okay. amendments. Okay, I move. So I'll make the motion. Then you make that sounds amendments. good. So I move that we approve the Callis Town School District warning as written. Now, and I would, and I move that we make two amendments. Oh yes, I second that. Yeah, we do. We, we don't. don't have we to. don't. We don't, we don't, don't second. Have. We vote. <laughs> small small board rules. Yeah, yeah. small board. We don't vote until after we've made. We're adopted by these voters. Well, are so you? Are would, you? Yeah. So I would move uh, that we amend the uh, the budget. I mean the, uh, the warning one. to uh, add an article adding the recommended budget or the budget recommended to the to the trans for the transition committee. May I suggest that Rick reads this? That you read this. This is what you're. This is the budget. Say. Oh, this is the budget. Five. You have to say this. You have this no is choice. what you've got this afternoon. It's no, no, no. This is the, you have no choice to, but to say this because of statute. All right. Well, we'll say it. Budget, we'll <laughs> there you go. You already prepped it for me, John. It's it's required in how budgets have to be. Oh, I see. School district yeah. budgets. Yeah, it's it's so how we do it. Okay, we'll have to listen Thanks to little. this if we can. I'll give it to you, Michelle, so okay. you can type it in. <laughs> yeah, I I propose that we amend the the warning to add an article that states uh, the following. Shall the voters of the school district approve the school board to expend $1,970,738, which is the amount the school board has determined to be necessary for the, insuring, for the ensuing fiscal year. It is estimated that this proposed budget, if approved, will result in education spending of $17,475 per equalized pupil. This projected spending per equalized pupil is 9.82% higher than the spending for the current year. Thank you, Rick. And type and type it. Now, should I have the second amendment? Or do we want to vote on Thank this? Thank you. Let's discuss this. Okay, discuss. No? I think we discussed just what that means. Anybody adding, have adding more to say? To the so, in summary, to summarize our previous discussion, some people feel it would be better to vote on this budget, have the town vote on this budget now at town meeting day have that as like an insurance plan in case the court stops the process. And then other people feel it might be better to just wait and have our special meeting when we know which budget it is, whether it's a one school budget or a multi-school budget. If right? the injunction does stop the process. If it goes on as either way. Yeah, then you have it, then you have a then you have Just to take action. On one of those mm -hmm. and, and there's no legal problem with us. There's no legal problem with the voters of Callis voting on a budget that suddenly uh, I'm just worried there it's could be confusing. a legal I'm worried there could be a legal problem if the court meets says no injunction, the process shall continue. We've warned a town meeting with a budget and now we don't have the authority to make that budget anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's this timeline where we could get trapped in a, well, the, ah, we just yeah. got, I mean, do you know what I mean? The board technically exists through the end of the fiscal year, right? We have, I mean, we are, we have some authority in this. Yeah, but what I've been told, and then, and no, 
and I respect that you might feel differently, but what I've been told by the state uh, uh, agency of education is that this board has operational authority through June 30th, 2019. So there would be no legal issue if we recommended a budget to the voters, they approved that budget, and then the court, in the middle of that, the court had already said, sorry. I don't think there's an answer to your question. Okay. <laughs> because I think you would get opinions based on which way you want yeah. someone leaned. Yeah. I'm trying to give you, you know, a straight up piece. That's but we're not going to be in any legal problems with passing a budget when we didn't have the or when, something when like that. That's, that's up to the okay. court to decide. The court's Somebody would have to join you right. or the, yeah. the court's going to issue a ruling saying we agree with the, the challengers of the forced merger mm -hmm. and then you go forward with what you present or the court's going to say we agree with the state that they did everything appropriately and they would continue to move through with their process and, and the vote would be null and void, it would right. have no so effect, it so be a big it's not a bad, and yeah. in any event, if you have that new information comes by the time town meeting comes, mm -hmm. you could, re the board could recommend to the voters, the electorate, that um, they vote to not accept this budget, but instead um, schedule an, another meeting to um, vote on a new budget so item when that becomes available. The, we could have an opportunity between to change the I think the only issue with that is we don't vote from the floor. So people get ballots in advance and they're you know, they're gonna start voting. So early early voters we right, won't so be they, able so to they address. Can vote on the budget up or down and then yeah. but the people on the changes. floor could still vote to schedule the electorate would vote to schedule the other meeting. The budget would be moot that you passed if, if the state wins its um, right. lawsuit. Okay. Right. And the money okay. does not have to be spent. We return uh, it to the taxpayers anyway. As of right now, we are the legal entity that runs the school, and we have the duty to vote a budget. And it, it can't. It won't. Can't be. The only way we could be accused of doing something illegal would somebody take us to court. Mm -hmm. And it's very clear in state regs, in state regs, the law, is the law says that we can and should do this. So I can't see anything illegal about it. So just to make sure I'm clear, the law says we can and should do this by June 15th. Correct. That is correct. No, it says that at a at town meeting or at another meeting as decided by the elector at town meeting. Yeah. Um, by June 15th. Yeah. Uh, June 15th then is, is our idea. deadline. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, have, a number of we have a rather large window. Okay, so do we have any more questions? One more question, sorry. <laughs> I know we want to move on. Um, this budget's already been built by your office. I know there are some changes because the numbers are still coming in, but is it a huge amount of extra work? to prepare this for a town meeting day, and then? Yes. Okay. Guess what? It's work. It's extra work. Oh. It's our job. Sure it is. But it's our job. Sure yeah. it is. And that's what we fund the office for. That's exactly right. Yeah. Can I just Denise. point out two things that are usually on the warning that aren't? You usually have an article that says to authorize the school directors to hold any un unaudited fund balance, blah, blah, blah and then to authorize the school board to borrow money in anticipation of receipt of revenues for the school year. Those are usually on your warning and they're not on this. Is there a reason why? Because we were advised by Chris Leopold, our attorney, that not to have those on if that's part of the merge board. But if you're operating under your current authority and the budget passes and the lawsuit comes and goes and everything's status quo, won't you need those, uh, that authority? If, so let me, I'm just going to give you information. Don't hear me as trying to argue. I, I just want to make sure people aren't misinterpreting my tone. In working with Chris Leopold to put these together, what Chris has explained to me and to our, uh, some of the other folks have had this question, is that the ruling that was done on November 28th from Act 46 has the authority of where that we are to be merged on 
July 1st, 2019, and that the merge board is the only one that has authority over that fiscal year, not this board. And so that they have to hold, hold a district election on that. I know that there are other opinions about that. That's how we got to the warning we're seeing at today. I'm just I, given that I, as information. One question. Yeah. So if the merger doesn't happen, then we would need to have a special meeting to, to have yeah. those two articles yep. addressed. But would it be or we yeah, could do it here and just have it there. Or we could just have an amendment to have a special meeting regardless to either approve our unified, and again, unified budget or our budget with yeah. articles. We no, will have, no. we'll have to amend the budget. I'm trying to think anyway, because I mean, if, if small school grants change. I, I, just, I just think there's so much that we don't know right now. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't think that it, I don't think that it's responsible of us to put a budget forth that we don't even know what's going to happen. It's not we our don't fault even that we don't have this. this but we don't have to do it. We are task for right. Again, we we're don't. we're putting forth a budget based on the assumption that we're going to get an injunction. Right. Or legislation which is uh, exactly that doesn't right. exist right now. So not well, no, it we're exists in the event that we get, it, get yeah. an injunction. It's basically so that we aren't in a void. It's that's the difference. We don't know the way this is going. Right. So but what if we as Chris said, put the article that will set a special meeting at a date because even though we've traditionally voted on our budget on this day, it's a mess this year and there's so many unknowns. So this year it's a little different than tradition. On town meeting day, what we all decide as voters is that we're going to meet again in May. Is that the date well, we or is it April? Well, so right that, now, that I we just will set a special <laughs> meeting. That we'll set we'll a special set. meeting to decide our budget. But remember, to vote on our budget. We can set. We have the authority to set a special meeting if without we need to, with, right. without an article in that. That's actually almost messier, right. I think. Right, I agree. That's true. Mm -hmm. So. So we have, we have a motion to add, Article Five. As discussed, as as uh, as read by Rick, um, and then you uh, have have you would you like to add Article Six? So I would suggest or? just a procedure piece. You should do amendments one at a time. Okay. I think it would be easier for you than to combine things. <coughs> no, it would just make right. things more confusing. Right. Is everybody ready for a vote on this one? Sure, I'll leave you to this thing. <laughs> Okay. All those in favor of approving the Callis Town School District Town Meeting Warning as amended. As, as written. We have, we voted yeah, on the amendment. amendment. You have an no, we're amendment just on voting the, on the amendment. You need to vote on the amendment. We're just voting on the amendment. You yes, yeah. to, just on the amendment. Yeah. No, just well, voting. No, just, just on that single just amendment. Just on that single amendment. Not on that single amendment. So oh, all in favor okay. of adding amendment five. All in favor of adding five. Article 5. Yeah. To the town district morning, uh, warning, the Cal School Town District warning. Right. Say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Nay. Nay. Abstain? So Did not pass. Three to two. Three to two. Okay. So then we want to move on to Article 6. I should see, you should see if you have an amendment. You don't have an amendment. Do, okay. Do you have any other amendments? Do we have any other amendments? I move an amendment uh, to be wordsmith by Bill and, and district. And, and can you say the, the school, district school attorney, 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 to uh, to to request a vote for uh, to change uh, from an Australian ballot system to a floor vote. You should for, sorry, school school, for the school warning, uh, warning and budget. Can I just give you a little bit of yeah. friendly advice? Um, usually, it's said for the ensuing e for the ensuing, for the ensuing annual meeting or next meeting. Next meeting. Meeting. That's why I want an attorney. They usually say it's for the next time. You don't do it on that. That and the warning gets for the ensuing. They are, I think they usually election. say it's for the next ensuing next year. year. For the yeah. next Thank ensuing year. year. Yep. This is why I want an attorney because they'll get it right. Yeah. <laughs> You don't do it for that one. 
Michelle, do you have any part of that? Did something. <laughs> Rick moves an amendment <laughs> Sorry, for a bill and an attorney to request a vote to change for an ensuing annual meeting to change the Australian vote to a floor vote. The, the, the language to follow. So wait, so wait. So wait. Rick moved to, to add, wait, his, an his, amendment or an article? No, he's, he's asking us to vote on an amendment to the Here's warning amendment. to add an article. Rick <laughs> Smith by Lee. Which Which is is district attorney. Attorney. Just by the, by, 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 the, the school's attorney. attorney. To request. To, to, to ask the voters to change. Uh, well, I'll really call this just our school, school, said, budget, school budget, vote budget vote. School budget vote. From Australian to, to floor. The town meeting. The town meeting floor vote. What happened to the. We'll figure that out, but it's uh, the intent is that will happen. Oh, well, I, I, I've got another wicket to throw, throw in. Oh, <clears throat> if, if we pass this, I don't mean here, but the town says, yes, we want a floor vote, mm -hmm. don't we have to have language in it that has to do with any school district meeting? Because when we have our projected budget meeting in April so, or May. So this is why I want the attorney. Yeah. This okay. is why but we want the attorney. To have There's a lot of little nuances in other statutes that I won't even but think that, of. I'm that pretty will come sure. Into municipal law yeah, no, as I'm well not. that will come into this and from election law. This but is why. I'm, I'm pretty sure it, he'll have to put something in. Yeah, yeah he's got to figure it out. So that April meeting Thank then you. would be a floor vote. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That yeah. would be ensuing this year. Yeah. True. Yeah. 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 That's it's very net. good. But that's that, that's yeah, the, I like that. I do too. <laughs> that works for me. Right. We'll have to figure that out. Thank you. So moved. <laughs> I don't even know where so we moved. are. Yeah, I think, oh, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not I wish a, we had. Um, yeah. Well, it, 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 aren't we moving an article, changing the vote from Australian ballot to floor ballot yes. to be wordsmith? by the yes. lawyer. We've got yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Is that the and motion? Then, yeah. yes. Do we have to add and then reviewed by us before adoption? You know you're going to do that when you do your school yeah, district. When we, when we do the whole, okay. the whole 5.1. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So that, that was much shorter than I think anybody okay. was saying. Yeah. It works. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, we, no, so we, we, we need to vote on, on this the amendment. The amendment. Amending this article. Add this article. The We're not amending that. We're adding this article. <laughs> the budget voting method, and it's it, and it, it is as Dorothy stated for any and all, yep. or you're not sure any and all it would future be all meetings. Future. I have to see if it's got to be a full year, because I that's what I need to ask the yeah. attorney. Does it have to be a full year? Can it be the next one? I, I just don't know the answer to that. But we'll take whatever. I've done any research? Put, on we're not I, picky. It's been years. Yeah. It's been a few years since I've done research on it, and I. Don't okay, care around we, those brain cells. Okay. You get the idea. We, I got the idea, we, but. Yeah, we. Okay. So, all those in favor of amending the Callis Town School District warning to add uh, Article 5 language pending from our attorney to reverse the Australian ballot to voting from the floor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? So moved. I passed you now. Yeah. Can I ask you to read back the amendment? Uh, she's got the paper. She's got the paper. Michelle's got the paper right there. If you want to write it down or I'll photocopy it for you, Denise, or. Take a picture with your iPhone. I don't have an the iPhone. Are you kidding? Here, got that one. Got this. Got one. So I think we have to vote on that. So then we now have to vote on that. I don't know how you get it. You, you <laughs> throw a motion on he'll, the table. He'll email it to yeah. me. Okay. You, and you have to say to vote on it as amended because you've amended it with one article. Mm -hmm. Or if you have other articles, I don't know if you're there. I mean, are there? Yes. Say. Are there any other articles or amendments that we would like to oh, make to the morning? Are we ready to call a vote on the yes. warning? Okay. So, all those in favor of approving the Callis Town School District Town Meeting Warning as amended, say aye. 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 
Opposed? Nay. Abstain? Four to one. Thank you. All right. Thank you for staying. Sorry, I'm just thinking about 3 o'clock. Up at 2.30 in the morning, I have to get up. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so we are... Thank you. Reports to the board. Uh, no, 3.2, Act 46 update. Do we have, is there anything you'd like to tell us about the articles, <coughs> meetings, et cetera? I haven't been at the articles. I was at, I was, I was at, I was at select board meetings. The articles of a green <coughs> group is struggling on Article 4, which was closing schools. Mm -hmm. And the first, what are in the default articles is the town whose school is being closed gets to vote I or nigh um, the first two years. And it's uh, after those first two years that we're working on. Okay. There was also, you know, in the prior meeting, which was just the week before, I mean, there, from the two or three, three lawyers, you know, involved on that board, I mean, there was a lot, they were all feeling pressured that they needed much more time to write these articles. and wordsmith these correctly. Mm -hmm. There was not nearly adequate time to do this uh, properly. And it, I mean, to the point that they were even questioning you know, whether we should take the default ar articles as bad as they are, you know, for the risk of creating something, yeah. you know, creating some problems. So it's, it's I don't know, it, Dorothy was at the last meeting, I was at another meeting, so I don't know how they... Oh, what most people don't understand is that any article, there's default articles, okay? If we were to go to those and we were to ask the electorate to vote on them, they would be voting on basically a canned bunch of articles that, that were there. They would just say, do you accept the articles, yes or no? If we make even one change in one article, like <coughs> one word, just to even make it more clear, that whole article has to be on the ballot. Can I give you Am a, I, No. No, I, that's what I was under. Understood. That's okay. It's, it is very confusing. It is not easy to understand. Um, the default articles do not need to be voted on. If an article, because we've been talking about Article 10 and changing the composition okay, of the right. board, so if that were to be changed, or as you said, one word in any individual article, yeah. that article would have to appear fully on the ballot and be voted on by the combined. There's different methods depending on which article, if it's a town vote or combined commingle votes. So there's a Article 14 that's in the draft articles agreement that says how the votes must be done, and then there are some articles that can't even be touched um, by the state ruling. So you're right on, you're r mostly there, it's that um, there isn't a vote on the draft articles to accept them. Right, Those they're, they given. just, they exist. Just that they're amended. Yeah, yeah just that they're just amended. It's just amended. the they're amended, amended part we have to vote on, amended. and then yeah. that gets confusing. They're long, and they're short. In terms I'm sure of, they're clear as mud. In terms <laughs> of Article 4, is there disagreement among the towns about how we would want to proceed with closing the school or is it more that it's just difficult to find language that it's it's, is di it's difficult to find a method that satisfies everyone uh, there's uh, the ones who the, the way the article is written mm -hmm. is it has to be a majority vote of the electorate I believe Last one time I read it, it was a majority for, for, vote for, for, of the, for 4B, of the board. which we're talking about the past years. Yeah. Right now, as it reads, it must be a majority vote of the entire electorate right. of the whole okay. district. That's the five towns. That's for all five towns. That mm -hmm. What? That's, that's the voters. The voters in that's, 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 that's all the five towns. That's the, the new. That's the consolidated district yeah. voters. All five towns commingled. And what was the recommendation by the, board, by the combined boards? Yeah. And that's there were you yeah. know there was talk there were towns that all that 
some of the you know some are pushing for a t you know a vote of the town that it, whose school is being closed. That's what we support. And there was some <coughs> hybrid discussions. I don't know if it came up at this meeting, Chris, you know, where say they there might be a a two thirds vote of the consolidated committee plus, or I mean a, a majority vote of the consolidated, consolidated committee plus say a, two, a super majority vote of the townspeople in the affected town for school, you know, to preserve, uh, to, in order to preserve the school, they would have to, two thirds would have to vote for maintaining that school open. Something like that. It, that was just, and I don't know if I can. There's all, yeah, yeah, they, they, they keep they trying to think of. Models. Yeah, it, Chris and I were talking about the meeting before and saying. They keep know, trying to find different ideas. Mm -hmm. Things that would work, you know, but in but some form. Is, should it be hard or easy to close the school? It should be hard. It should be very hard. I think that was pretty unanimous that it should be hard. But it should be hard. I didn't hear anyone say it. There was different definitions yeah. of hard. That's right. Hard degrees of hard. They, right. Because well, I think, Scott, I, I mean, that's what I heard you were there, so. Hard or impossible. What degree, what you, how you define it. Hard or impossible. Well, but it, when there's no question that the schools who face the closures are impacted the most. And, by, and they should have I mean, a the say. Towns. The town. That's what I meant. The town. They should have a vote. I mean, to my mind, they there should be that needs to be accepted by the towns. I mean, that town that doesn't, it's not facing a closure, is not impacted to the same level as town that does face a closure. So these and are the conversations the that the articles committee is yeah. having. Yes, yeah. that, this is a big okay. <coughs> and one of the uh, another one that. They put in is okay. I, I can help you. Can I do answer Denise's question? Yeah, I didn't hear the question. So Denise, <laughs> um, so the first two, there's there's already an effect for the first two years that cannot be changed, which gives the town of this that the school is located in the closure. It's what's being debated right now is after well, those first two years, and they're in effect until there's a vote of the electorate to change that bylaw. And then like, and that that electorate, it says that the, the vote on that is the combined by the five. Well, then there's the issue too, and I don't know if this was addressed, but you know these these articles can be voted on by that permanent board once it's elected. I mean, it would change, which is the problem. So. Did it, did it no, no, they, they can't. They can't. The board the, cannot change the articles. It, it has to stay with what's in Article 14, which pretty much gives it to the elector. There are very few that board has control over. I'd have the to electric, pull that. But what I mean is the consolidated electric, correct? I mean, it does not go back to that individual some town. Are, some go to individual towns. Some do. Some I go to clear each, on that. each town. Miss, that's why I'm saying you need to read Article 14 of the draft yeah. articles, and I could pull it up if we need it tonight. But has that which ones of the articles that were given to us, and how they may be, how they must be voted to change. Well, I think what would matter with me with the school closure. I mean, the only form that would be acceptable is if the affected town had the ability to block or you know changing that. You know, they would have to have the ability to block the closure if they so ch chose to do it. And I'm okay with something like even a super majority. You know, I think the town itself has to stand up because sometimes that's an issue because every it does cost everybody. You know, they're everyone in that consolidated union is also impacted. But you know, they have to have the ability to say no, and then they also have to be able to have the ability to protect themselves from being changed by the aggregated union later because, you know, three towns in that, two or three towns carry the majority and probably two, I don't know what the, you know, what, I mean, that could easily, that can easily be changed at any point. So I would ask you to ask Matthew DeGroote. I was just going to say. He, because yeah. it, the numbers were pretty interesting. That was really I, looking. I agree. Well, he, he, he posted those, I good, think. I just, yeah. I can just send that over send, to send, Just send it over to, to it, yeah. it was like, I, I thought he had some really good <laughs> thoughts there about electoral, electoral math. I was like, well, that's pretty interesting. Well, what, what he did is he researched all five towns mm -hmm. and the percentage of people who voted at town meetings on a kind of regular basis and the percentage of people who voted like at the presidential election. So there was like, for all the towns, it was an average of 60% yeah, for that. Right now. And I think the, the town meeting was around 30 some of percent. And then he kind of figured out how <coughs> many votes in Worcester it would take to just 
knock it off, no matter what everybody else voted, uh, or callous, or individual towns. It was quite, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, the question, you got to be careful, too, on, you know, on vote turnouts, because, you know, statistics don't always mean a lot when you get a really deep Well, that was he was saying, touches, yeah. You know, that, that so, bites so, deeply. So take a, look at, take a look at this PowerPoint. I it's will. It's really interesting. I mean, I thought he did a nice job of I'm saying sure it. It's, 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 it's the passion that brings them out. No, he gave it to articles. I can send it out to all of you if you'd like to do it. it. I'll do it right now. Got it right here. I'll forward it to you. Well, in, any, in any shape, way, shape, or form, I think the power has got to re be, remain with, the, you know, there has to be some ability of that, of that individual town to say, to be able to stop that process. It's the only thing I would support. I'm not saying that that has to be an easy ride. But I'm saying that that has to be a reason, you know, reasonable. We 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 discussed of um, there was a discussion of could the town actually could we arrange something or should we arrange something so the town could f always veto it. In other words, so there would always be a possibility of a veto, however we arranged it. So I don't remember how we concluded that conversation, frankly. I'm not entirely sure that this is the right form or place, but to what end would, I mean, the town gets the, the ultimate authority to keep the school open, but, you know, the kindergarten has two kids. The first grade has three kids. I mean, how far do we go? What about when it has well, 110? I mean, the, you know, that's that can happen with a large number if you've got the capacity in another school. I'm just, I'm not saying this would happen, but like in East Montpelier, you know, if you've got a, still a healthy population and you've got a healthy school and you, you know, we're not talking about two kids, you know, and I get your point. We would close this if we started dropping that far to where, I, I mean, I would support merging. I'd point, I mean, I mean if, if we were to merge. In a row now what? Of low enrollment. Well, we've had, but our enrollment is still sustainable at this point, you know. I, we would, could reach a point where it wasn't. But we aren't there yet, choice. and it's our choice. That's right, and we would come to that choice if it dropped to where we felt this was bad. This is so. serious rem. We would, I would. Well, we but wouldn't want it to continue if it. Well, no, because there's for a the point kids. where it is to the detriment yeah. of the kids. Because exactly. right now, there's to the there's, people. You know, and yeah. I'm, I'm athletic minded, so I'm sorry that I bring that into it. But <laughs> there's there's going to be no K-1-2. There was hardly a K-1-2 soccer team. There's not going. There was hardly a K-1-2 basketball team. There's not going to be a soccer, a t-ball team. My daughter, who just graduated school here, was in a bigger class. She had to combine with four other towns to have a softball team. You, I, mean, I, I would argue that I grew up in a situation we didn't have sports teams, so we were in high school. We didn't have anything through the end of middle school. We did fine, and we we still gathered. We played sports ourselves. I mean, my God, I'm, you know. I'm, but the point there is, you know, this is about our education. I, I know that's important, that's part of it, but are they getting the right social and, and educational? So, you know, the I other thing I can say, and maybe it's an outlier, but for instance, the, the, I believe it's the kindergarten right now has a set of twins and one other boy. So they're not getting social interaction. Two thirds of the people in that class are related and see each other. I, I, Chris, I just need you to be a little careful with information. I know we all know kids here. No, sorry. It just we're in a public format, it's not fair to the kids. Fair. My point, you know, this isn't about I that. What we're saying. we're talking you know what this is about is a broad discussion of who has the ability sure. to shut and I, that I, down. And it's, it's gotta it's, be the community. It's, it's, you know, it makes me nice it's nice to hear that you that you said you know if it came to the point you Oh would God, yeah, I would you know hurt me. That's just what I fear. Well there's no one in this room that wouldn't do that. Right. And you know we the other thing right. I fear is, I, I think one of the, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think one of the articles of agreement is something about school choice. That, no, uh, there's ch school choice is only in the articles of agreement, I believe, and this is, uh, I kind of put it forward, is that the new board has to make a policy. Their policy can be no choice. Of a, there needs to be a policy because I know just from experience, in the first year or so, somebody's going to say to somebody else, Hey, I want my son to go over to East Montpelier. Oh, yeah, we'll take him in. We need to have a policy. Sure. If, yeah, if we that, have to have yeah. if, if it does come to fruition that there is school choice, I've talked to multiple families that are going to send their child to school with more social 
yeah. options and opportunities. You see where that falls? Well, that's why we need a policy. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Anything else on Act 46? There's always something. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Rick. You guys are always well informed. Yeah, I just want, can I just thank you guys for all the tons and tons of meetings that you've mm -hmm. all attended for all of this? It's pretty amazing. No, it's important. And exhausting. You do it too. We, it's just our piece of the our piece of the pie. Yeah, but I just want you to know we do. Thank we have, I, I appreciate it. All the work that you've put into it, regardless of where you come down on it. Well, and you as well. I mean, being here, I mean, you know, how spread thin everyone is spread. Yeah, this yeah. makes my. It's a tough issue. You know, there's, there's no question. I have to but say one thing about all the meetings we go to, I go to, and Rick goes to amongst the district, and I think Bill will agree with me. All our, there are people who have very different opinions, but the respect for each other and the basically good manners. Mm -hmm. I, people have no idea how much far ahead of everything we are because of that, because I, we, I have heard from other school board members and other towns that are having the same struggle. And there is nothing, if in many cases, it just has really blown them apart and friendships apart and so forth. But that has not happened here. I just, I feel so fortunate to mm -hmm. know so many really good people that have good ideas and are careful and polite about expressing those different ideas. I think Bill would agree with me, at least at meetings. <laughs> in general, yes. Yeah. It has not stayed that. I do not want to paint a hundred percent picture of that, though. Well, I. And and well, I understand that people get passionate. Yeah. That's yeah. the way it is. But I um, do too. by and large, it hasn't messed anything up. We all get passionate. Okay. That's part of education. We all care about kids. Yeah. Well, sometimes there's some fight in it, and that's that comes to that. I think, I think it's a reflection on this whole process you know, the AOE has made have, have really driven a lot of that. It's what happens when you don't do public process properly. You don't and you aren't inclusive in the conversations. It that's what you get in the end. Is you you know, and you end up with revolution in the end if you don't. That's that's why we ended up with a constitution. So Okay. Thank you. I think we're ready to move to reports to the board. Look at that. Administration, Cap, Bill, anything fun, exciting going on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it hasn't been that long since we met, so there's not a ton. We do have the artist in residence celebration tomorrow. I put that in the report. Oh, is that the Rangoli? Or? The Rangoli, yeah. You wanted to call it like Ragu. <laughs> the kids are so excited. They're enjoying it so much. Unfortunately, we've had a fair bit of illness in the building. Um, so we are going to rearrange it a little bit tomorrow, but you all. No, it's no. different from things for different people. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Right. No, it's just it's making um, plans a little precarious. Um, we're gonna we're still gonna have our celebration. You're all welcome and encouraged to come and take a walk through, do a little mindful doodling, <laughs> or um, sample some Indian spiced cuisine, finger foods. It it should be fun. Yeah. Tomorrow, three thirty to five thirty. Yeah, it sounds great. I wanted to ask you about the winter wellness. Are we moving away from Craftsbury this year? I think so. What I'm looking at, there's so many great things about Craftsbury, mm -hmm. but they don't have the ability for us to take our whole group, mm -hmm. and not taking our whole group on any one given day means that it changes all of what we offer for the kids who re remain behind. Mm -hmm. and we're a small school. I don't know if you noticed that or heard that. Um, and that also changes what are the specials that kids do because I have to send staff away. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking at other alternatives that offer multiple things all in one location so we can send all of our kids. So it was Craftsbury. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't want to jinx it. I think we have something. I'll, mm -hmm. More will come in the coming week. Okay. Okay. Craftsbury was a multi 
there were many different activities. They had lots of different activities, but they didn't have capacity. the um, equipment. The you went. You, the they, they didn't have the capacity or the equipment for all kids. Uh, if I sent um, all of our kids, I had to send mixed groups of mixed ages because of sizes and boots and it. Crassberry's been great to us, so it, it might still end up being an option, but it will probably only be one of the options. We used to send quite a quite a large number of students to the downhill, mm -hmm. so, and we don't do that anymore. I don't want to make promises. I am trying to come up with some options that offer several different options, and that is one of the things that we're looking at. That or, um, can you just give me a little time? Oh, absolutely. Okay. okay. Work your magic. I, we're working on it. As long as we know that they're outside, <laughs> yeah, they are and outside. they're doing a winter sport, <laughs> so that maybe they're developing a habit that they can continue. Remember we talked about this last year. It's like, mm. I think our goal as a board is that the kids are hopefully picking up some glimpse of a winter habit that can yeah. get them through winters in Vermont yeah. in a happy, healthy state of mind, mm -hmm. Yes. where they know how to get outside and put something on and go do something. So everything that I'm looking at includes being outside. Okay. At least one of the options is just more of a fun activity mm -hmm. than a sport. So can, give me that. <laughs> Not everyone wants to do the sport, and that's yeah. the feedback I'm getting directly from the kids. Yeah. So if they, if our kiddos who are all plugged into electronics want to go outside and play, that's fine. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. All right. As long as they're just, out. just on one of your Mount mentions, I'm going to do a little bragging, but I started the cross country ski program at East Montpelier. Mm -hmm. I think it was 70, late 70s, with help from London River Sports mm -hmm. financially. Mm -hmm. And I saw an ex-student recently, and she said, you know the thing I remember most? Mm -hmm. And she said, I really, really loved uh, that we, the sixth grade, went on a trip to um, Seon Lodge over here in Greensboro. Yeah. Yeah. And we Seon actually, Ranch. it was before they fixed Grotten. it up, there yeah. were really bunks, just crummy bunks that we it's stayed nice, in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't remember staying overnight, but she said, we went skiing at, out at night, and the moonlight on the lake mm -hmm. is something that was just beautiful to Aww. me, and I always remember. And that, 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 Doesn't that feel good? really made me feel good, yeah. yeah. You're helping a new generation, because our young ones love it when Miss Dorothy comes <laughs> to do uh, Four Winds, and uh, you went last year with our kids, so thank you for yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Four Winds sounds like a great program. It is, it is really good. Yeah. Thank so, you. any questions other than? Winter wellness. More to come before okay. we we'll probably, probably in the next two weeks. Yeah. Thanks for working on by that. By all means. Yeah. It's complicated. It is. It's a little complicated by lots of things, but I also saw that <coughs> they changed the Fontes and Pinal so we can do it K through six instead of stopping at the fourth grade. Is that so? Where the assessment committee is currently talking about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that where it is Fontes and Pinal three, and I'd want Jen to talk to you more about that. Um, we have not, there's some problems still, even though it has been revised, that mm -hmm. in those upper grades, it's just not as accurate. Right, because the other test is much more involved and has It's as much about writing yeah. than it is about yeah. reading. Yeah. Yeah. Analysis. Yeah. And I know our literacy okay. specialists are going to be talking about that mm -hmm. in our upcoming in service. I can see how it would be attractive to want to, you know, it would be nice to be able to compare how much movement you've made because you're taking the same test going forward. Okay. But on the other hand, if it's, if it's not going to really show what they're doing at the older, you know, because they need to do more complex thinking. And so, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. We'll find out more from Jen. Yeah. Yep. Let our literacy folks take care of it. Right. Do a good job. Yep. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, finance? So, this report hasn't been updated since it says September. September. This is on page 11, but it has been, I mean, nothing really changed until November. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to, and I know Lori is trying anything up because open enrollment happened on January 1st, but as you know, usually from November to January, we leave the budgets unless something major happens, and nothing major has happened. So um, we did go through open enrollment period as of January 1st. I know Lori and I were in our weekly meeting on Monday, and she's got all but two schools. So in February, you'll see a updated with the new true reps for any open enrollment changes that happen. Know it looks weird, but really we've been just working the budget the way it is. And remember, this shows changes, not not actual, not actual what we're doing, because we we have the budget and we're running the budget the way it is, and there hasn't been that many things major here. Okay. 
Any questions? Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Uh, Executive Committee. Well, we had a very, very short meeting last night. It seemed like it was wicked short. Um, so we're actually apparently planning a carousel meeting for February 13th. And um, we basically talked about the dates that Bill talked to you about tonight. Um, and um, I, I don't remember. But, uh, we didn't have reports from the policy committee and the quality committee and all those people because they haven't been meeting or can't meet. They haven't been. Right. This is basically yeah. a hole until we get So this everything's process. kind of, yeah. everybody's holding their breath basically. Everything's sort of on hold till we see mm -hmm. what happens over the next month or two. There's enough on everyone's plates now. I think I, I uh, hit everything. Dorothy mentioned something, Susan. I don't know if I could add. Um, of course. You talked about the schedule. Um, yesterday I released another one of the videos for Act 46 updates. Mm -hmm. um, it talks a little bit about the schedule and on the Act 46 is the proposed, I want to keep using that word proposed because I don't have the authority, but I know what I'll be recommending to folks for dates for transition board and for merge board and for all the other meetings. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons we talked last night about moving, you keep this when you oh, said moving right. to yeah, the carousel. We moved that. We moved the, we want, I had sent this out to the board chairs and most of the board chairs were fine with this. And then all of you as board members got the schedule that we moved the carousel meeting from the 20th to the 13th of February. So the day after the transition board, the day after the district meeting, there can be a transition board meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so instead of having a regular callous meeting the third Thursday, we'll do the On the 13th, 13th. there'll be carousel we'll do and 32. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I'll work with Susanna and Kat to build. Before Valentine's and Day. if you want to be on that new consolidated board, you're only going to have about five days to get your petition in at, at the right and place. That was one of the big things we talked about, and then the, I asked the mm -hmm. executive committee yeah. if we should start publicizing. And they, you guys said yes. Yeah, so because it, you, people people can s write their. So oh, we need to the get their, get their petitions. You just need your local town, 1% of your town. Town clerk. There a form and there's a regular form that's online for any uh, town <coughs> office, select board, select all, that. all that, that same thing. But you have to know, and we have to publicize, that there are two seats for Callis. One will be for one year, and the uh, next one will be, what, for three years, I'd I have think. I to look at the chart. Yeah. I think uh, one is for you, one year, one is for three last years. Night to so get that information there's out. two different, just like in the regular board, you're running for. Well, it's because you're starting different. It's, it's a new board and you yeah. don't have staggered terms. Yeah. 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 You got yeah. it, Denise. Yeah. Exactly, that's why. Mm -hmm. So this first ballot will be huge because you will have two people from all the towns, but at, going forward, the ballot won't be so but huge. Will those two positions always be one and three, or will they become three and three? They'll become three and three. Oh, okay. This is the staggered start. Okay. That's yeah. our staggered. Stag they're stag yeah, staggered start. start. You're going to start okay. somewhere. And yeah. just to make it more complicated, our recommendation <laughs> to the board is to actually have three members from each town starting the next year, because we need more members. Uh, Ten number. is not. We Ten wanted an odd number. number. Yeah. And 10 is pretty small for committees. I was going to say, how would you staff all those committees? Yeah. Right. So we, we wanted to do it right off, but it just wasn't going to work. So we and the, the deadline is February 20? The deadline will be, Feb it will be. It'll be February 20th. I think it was 25th. I think so, but I, I think think it was look. February 25th. Yeah. So does that include, it's the five towns, what happens to U32? Is that? There is no U32. There's no, no U32. U32. It's five, two members from each board. There is no. There are no other. From boards. each town. From each town. Thank you, Dorothy. Oh, that also. It's just the town. Oh, U32 as well. It's a J12. Yeah. yeah. U32 is what something they have to deal with, as well as the elementary schools. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the first members okay. of this board are elected by the. 
townspeople? All the towns. All five towns. All five but, towns. but to get on the warning, you only need a percentage of your town so rather than the district? Yeah, this is what the yes. draft articles of agreement that were given us, to us by the state board said that you have to have signatures of one per 30 or 1 percent, whichever is fewer. So Denise told me 15, so I'm going to go with Denise's number. Yeah. Um, the uh, the voters in your town, and then the town clerk will have to certify that that person's a town resident to appear on the ballot. And then all five towns vote on, all the electorate votes on all the members from all the towns. And the petitions get, once completed, get submitted by 25th of February where? Ta um, your town office. Town office. Yes, I think so, but I want to check that. I've got to, I just want to be All the sure stuff is important. It would be a shame if someone was ruled ineligible because they went to the wrong place. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I talked about communications with the executive board last night to make sure that we put all this out in flyer, video. You is there any way to have a link from our website, the school board piece of it, to whatever you're posting on the <coughs> big website so that's easy for people to find things Washington Central yeah it's yeah. right on the Washington Central yeah but I know but you say it's right there I've looked on that website and it is it's just a lot would you want to link to the information about how to um, that and meetings and you know that kind of stuff I think okay. it would be helpful that so just I, I, and I'm asking this just so I can be clear. I'm, I'm, that's one of the things I've been trying to do is get information out as transparent because it is confusing. So you're looking for one on the school website back to the district website, where yeah, it has to the 46 section. Right. Okay. Right. Who takes care of the Callis School website on the Washington Central website? Callis is in house, right? I I went to look for minutes and right, agendas exactly. today. And, and there's a, a chart that has yeah. agenda and minutes and and special More. meetings. All the dates, the column with the dates is all gone. It's missing. So in order to see a date, you have to pull up an agenda or a meeting. And it wasn't like that a, a month or two ago. And then I check. Yeah, I checked check. the other small towns. So, what, what, cat check. Yeah, She'll but check. the other, I checked the other small towns, and that didn't happen. That was just on the them. school board website, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. That's not the website. That's not mm -hmm. what I'm talking about, or it's not what She's comes up a on me. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, um, I just wish I don't think it's a touch. Easy, She's got the computer access. now. <laughs> the I might just call you. The tomorrow. Washington and Supervisory to Union website is not all that yeah. user friendly. I don't think. <laughs> I guess that's the right terminology. Right? Yeah, no, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I my my stare is just because I'm figuring out, trying to figure out why. But I'd love yeah. to sit yeah. with you and have you show me these why it isn't. Because I'd like it to be. See, this is yeah. how I bring it up. I think a website is always um, a work in progress. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's constantly changing. Yeah. Oh, 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 Okay. Thank you, Dorothy. Does anybody else think it's freezing in here? That's why I wear my mohair. Yeah, I kind of like If I had known, I would have brought like an extra. You want my coat? No, I got a coat. <laughs> Uh, Rick, is there anything from policy? For this one. We have not met, so and we're not planning on meeting. I think until everything kind of, yeah, you know, basically Seven. we get through the transition. So I think that, okay. Yeah, it's probably just an added load on the office. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Katie, school quality. Right, same. Ditto. We canceled yeah, our meeting fine. because there's yeah. just too much going on. Yeah. Yeah. Up the way I see it. Mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> uh, okay, negotiation. Okay, uh, negotiations we have um, we met with Johnny and I met with Bill Monday morning to just kind of regroup and talk a little bit about uh, Johnny Waterhouse she works with me on negotiations um, we figured it out we decided we're going to meet with the steering team to uh, to discuss the strategy moving forward and kind of get our uh, get our dates in a row you know we're mid we're midstream so we're right kind of in the middle of it we're also we're doing that Thursday uh, next week Thursday afternoon and Thursday morning we're meeting with the other board members on the negotiating team to kind of 
go through uh, information with them. So it continues, it's moving along. And Are these negotiations as the school is currently on? Or are these negotiations for the, the merger if that should happen? One so, yeah, maybe I think if you give a look, maybe I can answer by giving a little context. In 2007, the, stat, the legislature required that all supervisory unions move to one contract across all entities. So there are two contracts in Washington Central, one for teachers and one for support staff. Washington Central, okay. And so there are board members that are appointed to the negotiations committee across the issue. From each, each school. I hope and that explains it, but I just thought a little, a little bit of that. That's a good team. We work well together. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. On both sides. Of the, it's a great environment. I can't say that enough. Mm -hmm. so, keep you posted. Uh, okay. Where are the board orders? Here. Where did they land? Excellent. They are all Should trying to move it. That would be fantastic. Okay. Um, I think I have move this in there. Oops. There you go. Is this? There's two of them. Do I have to say both of them? It should be. Both. I think oh, it's summarized. Uh, here's the summarized. Yeah. Okay. I move the the amount of thirteen thousand six hundred and fifty three dollars and thirty six cents. To pass All those in the board orders. Uh, okay. The board orders. The board orders. Do we need the date? Oh, from twelve twenty one to. Excuse me, it went, it's backwards. From 11 21 18 to 1 17 19. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? You can go right to the abstain. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, future agenda items. What do we this have? is Anything? for. Huh? When we meet on the 13th at the carousel? Yeah. We need to talk about um, town meeting Town meeting day and the meeting before town meeting day. Good. Yep. And <coughs> yeah. Well, maybe you'll have more numbers for us, but. I may have more numbers. I might have more Act 46 information, and I might have right. a lot of things for you. <laughs> what I know today, I don't know much else than that. Yeah, right. yeah I think town meeting is, is, is the most Springs important item. Small schools, so it would be nice to know those numbers. Yeah, yeah if we get them, that'd be great. Hopefully. That'd be great. Maybe we'll have our test results. Maybe we'll have. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little All kinds of things we don't report. have. <laughs> Comment on the test results that we don't have. Okay. Follow up on all the unknowns. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll have winter wellness. Maybe we will. <laughs> Maybe we'll know. Anyway. We, will, we will. I I, I have to yes, by we'll that. We'll know by yeah. well, yeah. I have yeah. to by yeah. that. Yeah. Will. <laughs> yes, I'd love to. Um, Great. One thing that I should have asked you to do, um, because we're going to do this through telephone, and I have to have your signatures on the warning. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Mm -hmm. Can't we just sign it tonight? You can sign it because we do a two-page on purpose for any adjustments. I should have had Chris off to find Chris. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Shoot. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. I was focusing on trying to help us get through the conversation. Thank you, Vance. Uh, mm -hmm. Next item is board communication. What do you need again? Board communication? Oh, I'll do it. Thank you, Dorothy. Because they're all looking at you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy's been so very good about doing all the board communication. Yeah. Thank you. And I believe we can adjourn it. 803.